Hi there, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us today. Today, we're gonna be talking about boer goats. Yes, I know, we are the Happy Chicken Coop. However, we feel that talking a little bit about goats wouldn't hurt as we know that a lot of our followers are uh, homesteaders and you know, once you get chickens and if you wanna expand, typically what happens is people expand into other birds of poultry like ducks and turkeys and rabbits even. I know that's not a bird, but sometimes people have rabbit hutches and sometimes even goats. So clear that confusion up with the fact that it is contradictory to talk about goats on the Happy Chicken Coop channel. We're gonna do so anyways. So before I get into all that, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also be sure to subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All all right, without further ado, let's get into it. So boer goats are the most prominent meat goat breeds being raised in the US. This goat breed is hardy and extremely adapted to a host of different climates and terrain environments. The market for the lean red meat produced by goats has steadily been on the rise in America. The need for meat currently surpasses the amount that goat farmers in the United States take to market. American goat meat sold on an annual basis now taps out around 30 million. The uptick in ethnic consumer spending from customers who come from countries that traditionally eat goat meat to the high percentages that Americans consume beef. This increased the interest in the breeding of all meat goats, especially the Boer goat breed. Now, let's talk about the Boer goat history. The name of this breed was derived from Afrikaans, uh, a Dutch word that means farmer. I'll explain in a second. These large and stocky goats are so strong that they were once used as pack animals in their native South Africa. Boer goats were developed by Dutch farmers in the early 1900s, but did not come to America until 1993. The Boer goat breed likely stemmed from indigenous goats kept by the Fuku, Namakwa, and San South African tribes being bred with goats that shared a cross of European and Indian bloodlines. From the start, Boer goats were earmarked for meat and not dairy products due to the stocky bodies and lean and moist meat that they produced. These goats also showed remarkably quick growth rate, which was seen as a boon to the Dutch farmers who kept them. As far as smuggled embryos go, this is an interesting part of history. While this goat breed first appeared in South Africa, a small amount of both Boer and Angora goat embryos were smuggled out of the country via through Zimbabwe to goat farmers by both Australian and New Zealand agricultural companies. The smugglers wanted the Angora goat embryos because this breed is prized for its mohair production. At the time, snagging of the Boer goat embryos was merely an afterthought. The embryos were implanted inside goat does inside New Zealand. One Australian company that also had some smuggled embryos got into some money problems and the embryos as well as offspring were sent to a New Zealand quarantine station operator named Rob Moody. Moody dubbed the herd her garnered for African goat flocks, a different Australian livestock firm. Australian breeding management wound up with thousands of both Angora and Boer goats that were ultimately released from quarantine. All of the Boer goats that first found their way to America come from the offspring of smuggled embryos cultivated in Australia and New Zealand. It took decades of deliberate and diligent breeding for the Boer goat we know today to develop. Keepers staunchly herald the breed's superior genetic qualities and consistent production of quality meat. The very same year that first known full-blooded goats of these breeds arrived in the country, the American Boer Goat Association was established. It did not take long for Boer goat breeding and marketing to hit an explosive level in the United States. The American Boer Goat Association is an incredibly active force behind the increase in meat goat production in the United States. The group now counts in excess of 7,000 goat farmers as members. Now let's talk about the ABGA or American Boer Goat Association registration. Each year, the ABGA registers more than 45,000 head of purebred goats. It's possible to import Boer goats directly from the original South African strain, but they are quite expensive even before the shipping. There will be a lot less paperwork and expense involved in locating a breeder with certified South African Boer goat stock and purchasing animals from them. Any goat or sheep imported from Africa must remain in compliance with the USDA rules and be placed in a herd that has been certified to conform with the federal agency's voluntary scrappy flock regulations. This step was initiated to avoid the spread of scrappy virus for which no known cure exists. Initially, any goat or sheep 
imported from Africa had to be quarantined for five years to avoid the spread of the deadly disease. The rules relating to the importation of goat embryos from Africa may soon be relaxed. Now let's go through some quick facts on the Boer goat. Goats of this breed almost always have a white body and red head. The ears on Boer goats lop or hang down in a droopy manner. Boer goat horns are thick and curved backward. Eyes on Boer goats are almost always brown. Mature male Boer goats typically weigh roughly 350 pounds. Mature female Boer goats commonly weigh between 190 and 250 pounds. Boer goats not only boast a rapid growth rate, but also experience an enhanced fertility rate as well. The coveted carcass, personality, and meat quality of Boer billy goats or bucks is often passed on to kids. Even when the males have mated with crossbed Boer nannies or female goats from entirely different breeds. The most common top quality meat goat cross breeds all include Boer goats, Boer and Nubians, Boer and Angoras, Boer and Sirohi, Boer and Kiko, Boer and Osmanabadi, as well as Boer and Jamnapari. Boer goats are known to be hardy, but some keepers may experience increased struggles with internal parasites when raising these animals in hot climates. A Boer goat's average lifespan expectancy is between eight to 12 years. Now let's talk about the breed's personality. The gentle giants of the goat world might be prized for their meat, but are now also being used as companion animals, a slot typically reserved for Nigerian dwarf and pygmy goat breeds. In spite of their size, Boer goats are notoriously calm and docile. Novice keepers are often discouraged from starting a herd of goats in this size range, but the Boer might just be the one exception. Here are the advantages and disadvantages of having Boer goats. The advantage of keeping these goats is obviously their ability to bring top dollar on the meat market. The calmer disposition of Boer goats also mean that they require less climbing and romping toys in their pen to keep them entertained. When a goat is living in overcrowded quarters, has nothing to do all day but wait to be fed, poor, destructive, and sometimes aggressive behaviors materialize, even the most docile of goat breeds. You do not need to butcher or take Boer goats to market to earn either a side income or full-time living from keeping them. Although the number of keepers in the United States has grown substantially over the past decade, the demand for quality breeders has increased as well. Becoming a Boer goat breeder could be both an emotionally and fiscally rewarding experience. The disadvantage of keeping Boer goats are few and tolerable. The first obstacle to consider when buying goats of this breed is the amount of space needed to keep such large animals and the cost of feeding them. Boers, like all other breeds, are browsers and require rough hage and their diets to keep their rumens in check. Wintering over a Boer goat herd will require either baling your own hay or buying it to fulfill the health and nutritional needs of the hefty goats. All of this vastly adds to farms operational costs. Now let's talk about Boer goat care. Boer goats require the same care as all other goat breeds, but do not forget to factor in their large size and sometimes surprising strength when creating a pen or barn and fencing. They are strong and good climbers, so make sure you reinforce the wood and barbed wire, wood and high tensile wire or hog panel and barbed wire fencing you factored in the initial startup of husbandry costs. The fence must be at least four feet tall to prevent Boer goats from climbing out. I highly recommend using multiple locust posts around the pen perimeter and not just as corner supports. Metal T posts just do not tend to be sturdy enough to keep the necessary fence sturdy over time as the Boer goats rub and push against it. All right, let's talk about the reproduction. The high fertility rate of Boer goats helps breeders and meat farmers recoup the money they spend when investing in a top quality breeding pair. When you have a billy goat that lives up to his potential, expanding a herd of Boer goats without spending a dime on introducing new stock into the herd. Boer goats are capable of breeding throughout the year. Both males and females reach reproductive maturity when they are five months old. A Boer nanny goat is pregnant for approximately five months and then nurses her kid or kids for roughly three months before she can either be milked or is scheduled for breeding again. Nanny goats may give birth to only a single kid during her first pregnancy, but typically a Boer nanny gives birth to two twin kids. The traditional breeding season for goats occurs in April and May, and again from the final days of summer up to the first days of winter. So how much do Boer goats cost? As with all goat breeds, the cost of a Boer goat will depend on multiple factors first, and perhaps most importantly is local availability. If there's no breeders in your region, the cost to make a trip to a breeder and inspect the goat and either have it shipped or haul at home can cost several hundred dollars. If purchasing a registered or show quality Boer goat, the price tag will likely be between 400 to $500. Doling or nanny goats can often garner a slightly higher price than intact males. 
because forward goats are so sought after and bring a high price both on the meat and market and in direct sales. Keepers should make time to thoroughly document the health, vaccinations, reproduction statistics, breeding lineage, seasonal weight, and butcher weight of each herd member to help fortify their claims of quality stock for selling marketing purposes. All right, that's gonna do it for us here at the Happy Chicken Coop. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed this new video on goats. If you enjoyed the video, or if you learned something new, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. With that, I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.